So how do you capitalize on the biggest sporting event in the entire world of all time and make money if you're not a sports bar and you own a restaurant? Well, if you want to know, listen for the next couple minutes. I'm going to tell you exactly how to do that using Slipstream Marketing. My name is Michael Tebow, owner of Done For You Marketing Systems. Thanks for tuning in for this week's edition of Mike's Money Making Minutes. And I just want to say, Lions win the Super Bowl? And if you didn't know that, I'm in Detroit, Michigan, shooting this live the week of uh, just before Super Bowl. And you know my Lions, they're coming back. We're going to win the Super Bowl next year, baby. Right? Uh, (laughs) So if you own a restaurant and you're not a sports bar, you typically don't do any business on Super Bowl Sunday. It's like crickets. When I had my restaurants in uh, the first year, and nobody came in because we weren't a sports bar. It's the same thing on St. Paddy's Day. If you're not an Irish bar or Irish theme on St. Paddy's Day, that's where everybody flocks to. So what happens during Super Bowl? The largest sporting event in the entire world. Everybody's watching it. Everybody's watching it. But there are some people, there's a niche that aren't watching Super Bowl. People that aren't vested in the two teams um, you know, maybe uh, some wives of some rabid husbands that are football fanatics or they go off to football parties and they're not interested in football and they don't have anything to do. Whatever. Could be men, could be women, could be, um, you know, parents with little kids and they don't want to stay up late. There's a niche of people that are looking for something to do other than football. So let me give you an example. In Michigan, we have a big uh, time of year in November for deer hunting. When deer hunting season opens, all the deer hunters, and typically it's a male-dominated sport, um, go up to up north and hunt for deer. So that entire weekend, all the wives, girlfriends, uh, women typically get together and go out to restaurants, go out to uh, dance clubs, nightclubs, just do a bunch of fun stuff, right? Because it's like a ladies' night out. So we call it the Deer Hunter's Widow Weekend, right? And we used to do a bunch of parties and special themed events using Slipstream Marketing because that's what was on everybody's mind here in Detroit. You could do the same thing with Super Bowl. You, you could have a Super Bowl Widow's Weekend Party, okay? Because um, a lot of guys and uh, uh, you know a lot of families are celebrating all weekend long. So you can get that niche. Remember, there's riches in niches, All right, there's your first way that you can increase sales at your place if you want to do on-site business. I like number two idea where you do Super Bowl carryout packages because with COVID and the influx of carryout and delivery meals, everybody likes to stay home. And a lot of your customers like to stay home and watch the Super Bowl from the comfort of their own couch with their big screen TVs and their remotes. What else do they do? They don't like to cook, so you can solve their problem. So create a Super Bowl package, um, or you can have a la carte items, but I like packages and give them three choices, and then make your middle choice the most profitable, and theme it out for Super Bowl. Do something a little fun. You know, maybe uh, every 10 orders or have a drawing and throw a football in there, a couple of... um, you know, uh, tickets to win a big screen TV. Uh, You kind of got to get going on this because you only got a couple of days left. But you can use the same technique for different events throughout the year for Slipstream Marketing. Or have your own football trivia party. You can have it on Friday or Saturday in your bar. That's easy to put together. Hook up with one of your liquor purveyors and promote that through your email list and your social media. Theme out your staff, right? Even if you don't have a sports bar, you can rent TVs. That's what we did. Um, and place them throughout and had, you know, all the entire staff dressed up like uh, either football players or cheerleaders. And we had one big party. Don't ever be boring with your business or your marketing. Nobody wants to go to a boring restaurant and nobody wants to look at boring marketing or listen to a boring marketing. The number one sin in marketing is to be boring. So don't make that mistake. And remember, use those media channels that you can get the word out quickly and right away like email and social media. If you need help marketing any Slipstream events, 
um, or creating some promotional ideas to increase sales for your restaurant, just click the button below and you can sign up for a free done for you marketing money making session with one of our DFY marketing gurus. So you can do that right now and capitalize on the largest sporting event. It's what's ever on everybody's mind this week. It's called Slipstream Marketing. Do something revolving around football and the Super Bowl and make some money. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great Super Bowl weekend and I'll see you next week.